Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dear World English video with me, Dan. Okay, so uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, a kind of situation, okay, something that we do, I don't know, maybe quite often, okay, so as you know, with these English videos, we really try to give you some uh, useful English that you can use in everyday life, okay? So from now on, we're going to choose some different situations, okay, that you might find yourself in more frequently, more often, okay? Um, and so it will be at the, okay, at the. Uh, and today what we've got is at the restaurant, okay, at the restaurant. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this because I think that uh, most of us go to a restaurant quite often, okay, and so it's quite useful for us to know uh, some of the English language that we use when we're at the restaurant, okay, what we call certain things, okay, and then maybe some more um, sort of idioms, some things that we might say that you've not heard of before. Okay, uh, so let's get started. Okay, so let's say it's Friday night or it's the weekend, okay, this is the time that most people will go to a restaurant, right? Uh, besides a special event, yeah, sometimes for someone's birthday, um, or for New Year, or Christmas, um, something like that, people might go to a restaurant, yeah? Um, but besides this, okay, lots of people go to a restaurant on the weekend, okay, some people go to a restaurant uh, before they go to watch a movie, uh, some people go to a restaurant because they're on a date, yeah? Um, and some people just go to a restaurant because it's nice. Yeah, you don't have to wash or clean, you don't have to cook, okay, it's much easier. Yeah, maybe for some of your parents, they like to go to a restaurant, yeah, at the end of the week because they've been busy all week, working, yeah, and they don't want to come home after a long week at work and then cook and then clean, uh, yeah, and maybe for you it's nice as well because you can try something different, okay? Now, restaurant food is not the same as food at home, okay, if you're lucky, uh, maybe you have a really nice parent that can cook uh, better than a restaurant, okay? Um, but uh, it's usually not going to be the same, okay? Uh, and I'm sure many of you have a favorite restaurant, okay? Now, before we go to a restaurant, we need to choose what kind of restaurant we're going to, right? Okay, so here's our first word. Cuisine, okay, cuisine. Now, we might want to first choose what cuisine we're going to eat, okay? What kind of food are we going to eat, yeah? What country's food, or what city's food, or what province's food, okay? Um, so we're going to look at the cuisine, okay? What cuisine are we going to eat today? Okay, so a, a conversation, if it's with me um, and my friends, okay? We might, uh, we might talk together, we might say, oh, I really want to eat, um, I don't know, Chinese cuisine today, okay? Now, we're in China, uh, it's very easy for us to find Chinese cuisine, okay? Uh, but we might say, you know, I want uh, Sichuan, Sichuan cuisine, okay? Or I want uh, Dongbei, yeah, Dongbei cuisine, okay? Um, and then we can go further out. If we don't want Chinese food, maybe we can say, I want English cuisine. Aha, I know many of you are laughing, okay? Many of you are laughing because you think, English cuisine? What? Fish and chips? <laughs> well, England has a lot more than just fish and chips, but um, I'm sure many of you only really know uh, fish and chips, okay? Uh, but you might say Indian, Indian cuisine, French cuisine, Italian cuisine, okay? Uh, so first things first, okay? We need to make sure what cuisine we want to eat, okay? Second, after we've decided what cuisine we want to eat, okay, we might have to think about the restaurant, okay? Is it a busy restaurant? Is it a popular restaurant, okay? Uh, what day is it? Is it Friday? Friday evening? Saturday evening? Sunday evening? Okay, we need to think about this because the restaurant might be busy, yeah? It might be very busy, and if we just go to the restaurant, we might have to wait for a long time, okay? Uh, you might have to take one of those numbers uh, and you'll ask, how long do I have to wait? And they say, oh, there are 25 tables before you. 25 tables! Yeah, you could be waiting a really, really long time. All right, so there's something we can do, okay? We can make a 
reservation. Yeah, we can make a reservation. Okay, so when we do this, what we do is we, we know the cuisine we want to eat, we know the restaurant we want to go to. Okay, we find the phone number for that restaurant and we call them. Okay, and we say, hello, I'd like to make a reservation, please. Okay, and they're going to ask you, yes, of course, uh, what time and for how many people? Okay, you might say, uh, for two people at seven o'clock on Friday. Okay, um, and if they have space, they will say, okay, no problem. Uh, if they don't, they might say, I'm sorry, we are already fully booked. Yeah, fully, fully booked. Yeah, fully booked. So they might say that they're fully booked at this time. Yeah, we have no more seats. Everybody's already made a reservation. We're so busy. Okay, and you might be able to say, do you have a reservation for another time? <clears throat> okay, and if you're lucky, maybe they will. All right, so we're going to call and we're going to make a reservation. Okay, some restaurants you can do it on your phone, uh, but usually people are going to call. Okay, it's, it's safer. All right, you make a reservation online, you don't always know if it's going to be uh, okay or not okay. Right? Okay, so we've chosen the cuisine, we've made a reservation. Okay, we've gone to the restaurant. Okay, we've gone to the restaurant. Okay, uh, we are shown to our table. Okay, we go to the restaurant and we say, hello, I have a reservation for two people at seven o'clock. Okay, and the waiter or the server, yeah, the waiter or server will show us to our table. Okay, they're going to show us to our table and sit us down. They will then give us a menu. Okay, a menu. Okay, a menu. Uh, and you might say, you know, I need five minutes. Can you please give us five minutes to look at the menu? Okay, in some restaurants it's very annoying. The waiter or the server wants to do a good job, and that's great. I'm always happy they want to do a good job. But sometimes they give you the menu and they just stand here like this with their little paper and their little pen, and they're looking at you. And you're reading the menu and you feel very uncomfortable. Like, oh, I need to make a decision quickly, okay? But you're going to a restaurant, you're going to spend some money, you don't want to make a decision quickly, right? Uh, so sometimes you have to ask them, you say, can we have five minutes, please? Okay, and they say, oh, yes, of course, and then they'll go away and come back after five minutes, yeah? Because sometimes it's really annoying, I want to look, I want to look, and I just feel that they are here. Yeah, I'm just, oh, go away. <laughs> okay, uh, so choose a cuisine, make a reservation, go to the restaurant, yeah, the waiter or server will show you your seat and give you a menu. Okay, so you've got your menu. Okay, you've told that very annoying waiter or server to go away, give me five minutes. Yeah, uh, now you need to choose what you want to eat. Okay, now we eat in what we call courses. Okay, courses. Now, usually in a restaurant, uh, most restaurants, okay, most Western restaurants, you can usually choose from three courses, okay, three courses. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Okay, now this is quite different to Chinese uh, food, okay, Chinese style of eating in Chinese restaurants. Okay, in Chinese restaurants, I suppose you also have courses. Yeah, you order cold dishes, you order hot dishes, you order vegetable dishes, um, and then you order like you know, maybe some rice or some noodles, okay, something like that, yeah? Okay, uh, but we usually order three courses, okay? Sometimes two, sometimes one. It depends how hungry you are, it depends how much money you want to spend, okay? But usually, for a Western restaurant, you'll get three courses, okay? Um, and what we have in the beginning is we have a starter. Yeah, a starter. Okay, a starter because we eat it at the start. Yeah, we eat it at the start. Okay, uh, and it's usually quite small, it's quite light. Yeah, it's nothing too heavy, you're not eating too much. Okay, because you don't want to eat too much, because you want to save space for your main. Yeah, your main course. Okay, this is usually a much bigger dish. Okay, it's going to have some vegetables maybe, some meat maybe, some pasta, some rice, some noodles, okay? That would be your main course. All right, and then finally, we finish with something maybe a little sweet, 
Okay, we finish with our dessert. Okay, we finish with the dessert. Now, usually the waiter or the server who is taking your order, who is taking your order, okay, that they might say, what would you like to order? Okay, would you like anything to start? Would you like a starter? Yeah, and you might order a starter and then you would order a main. The dessert, we usually order later. Okay, because we usually only eat the sweet things at the end of the meal. Okay, we don't order it together because if we order all three together and all three come at the same time, it's going to be a lot of food. Okay, and you don't know which one to eat first. All right, so starter, main, dessert. Okay, we order our food. Okay, um, great. And then what we might do is once we've finished um, with these things, what do we do? We need to, we need to pay. Right, we need to pay. Okay, uh, so when it comes to paying for the meal, okay, uh, we would ask for the check or the bill. Yeah, the check or the bill. You'll ask your server, your waiter, and you'll say, can I get the check, please? Or can I get the bill, please? Okay, check or bill. All right, um, and if you don't speak the language, Usually, you can just wave at them and, and do this, yeah? Because it looks like you are writing a check, man. It looks like you're writing a check. Okay, if you do this, they're usually going to understand. Okay, and then they will bring you your check or they will bring you your bill, okay? And then you can pay them after that, okay? Now, one very important thing about when we're at the restaurant is being polite, okay? It's being polite, it's being nice, yeah? So when we ask for things, especially when we're ordering our food, okay? Um, you can say want, I want a, okay, that's okay. But we're usually going to be a little bit nicer, okay? A nicer way to say want is would like, yeah? I would like, I would like a salad for my starter. And for the main, I would like the steak, okay? I would like a, I would like the, okay? I would like. Okay, but we can also say, okay, so we've got would like, yeah, number one. We can also say, can I get, yeah, can I get, yeah, can I get a salad, can I get the steak, okay, we might use these ways, these are a little bit nicer, yeah, can I get the check, can I get the bill, yeah, I would like the check, I would like the bill. Okay, it's a little bit nicer than I want, yeah? I want the check, I want the bill. Yeah, you can see the difference, yeah? I want the salad and I want the beef. I want the steak. Hmm. I would like the salad and I would like the steak, please. Okay, don't forget please, please is always very important. Okay, don't forget these people are giving you your food. If you are not nice to them, maybe they are not nice to your food. Last thing then, the last thing about being at the restaurant. So, uh, we've chosen our cuisine, we've made a reservation, we've gone to the restaurant, okay, the server or the waiter has shown us our seat, they've given us a menu, okay, we've looked at the menu, we've ordered our courses, okay, we've said I would like, and we've said please, can I get, okay, we've been very nice, everything's been good, okay, in the end, we've asked to pay for the bill, yeah, I would like the check, I would like the bill, okay, now, at the end of every video, what I want to start doing is something I want to call Culture Corner, okay? I think it's quite interesting to compare cultures, okay? Especially my culture from England, okay? Your culture from China, all right? Um, now, there are some differences in our culture. In fact, there are many differences in our culture, okay? And when we're at the restaurant, I think one of the biggest is when it comes to paying. Yeah, when it comes to paying, all right? Now, I know that in China, it is very normal for one person to pay the bill. Yeah, it's very normal for one person to pay the bill. Okay, and sometimes you will even see a small fight. Yeah, the server or the waiter comes with the bill, and one person takes it, okay, and another person wants to take it, and they're fighting, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. That's crazy. When I first came to China, I thought, wow, this is crazy. It looks like they're really going to fight. They look really angry. 
okay? Uh, but now I know, of course, they're not angry, they don't want to fight, okay? It's a way to show you are being polite, yeah? Who gets to pay the bill? Okay, so there's almost a bit of a fight to pay the bill, okay? This is one thing I've noticed. Now, in the UK and England, we don't, we don't usually do this, okay? What we might usually do is we might split the bill. Split the bill. Okay, split the bill. Now this means if there are four people eating, you will look at the bill and you will divide by four. Okay, if our bill is uh, 40 pounds, we 10 pounds per person. Okay, we might split the bill. Okay, because this is fair. Okay, this is the way that a lot of people like to do it. Okay, we split the bill. Okay, uh, sometimes what we might do is sometimes somebody might pay for it. Okay, one person might pay and they might say, it's my treat. Okay, it's my treat. Okay, it means I'm going to pay. Okay, it's my treat. We usually don't fight over the bill. Okay, if somebody says, it's my treat, we will say, are you sure? Really? Why? But that is it. Okay, they will say, no, 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 it's my treat, it's my treat. So, okay, you pay, that's great. Okay, and then next time, maybe I will pay. Okay, if my friend pays and says it's my treat, next time I might pay and say it's my treat. Okay, and this is quite similar to China, yeah? This is similar to Chinese culture. Okay, but usually we're going to split the bill. Okay, and this is not too much like Chinese culture. Yeah? Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is a big difference, I think. Uh, in England, and especially in uh, North America, when you pay the bill, you might give a tip. Okay, you might give a tip. Okay, and this means that when you pay the bill, okay, you pay the price on the bill, okay, you give that to your waiter, but then you might give a little more to the waiter. Okay, if you think the waiter did a good job, they brought your food quickly, they were very polite, yeah, they weren't too annoying, you might leave a tip. Okay, and it could be between 10 and 20% of your bill. Yeah, if your bill uh, is 40 pounds, okay, you might need four pounds to eight pounds, okay, as a tip, all right? Now, again, I know in China, this is not very normal, okay? I remember when I first came to China, uh, I paid for my dinner, okay, I paid for my meal at a restaurant, uh, and maybe my meal was, it was very cheap, maybe like 30, 30 UN, okay, or 25, 25 UN, okay, and I gave the waiter, I gave him or her 20, uh, I gave the waiter 30, 30 UN, okay, so I should wait for my 5 UN change, okay, but I didn't, I just, I walked out, yeah, I thought maybe, you know, I'll leave a tip, it's only 5 UN, it's not much, uh, so I just walked out, <laughs> okay, and as I'm walking down the street, quite happy, I can hear someone piping, way, 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 and they're running, running after me with 5 UN. Yeah, they wouldn't let me leave without taking uh, the 5 UN. Okay, so I quickly understood that tipping in China is not really a big thing like it is in uh, the UK or in America. Okay, all right, so uh, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, uh, next week maybe we'll do another at the. Okay, we'll choose something different, not restaurant next time. All right. Thank you very much for watching. This has been another Dear World English video with me, Dan. Bye-bye.